Hey, 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 guys, my name is Mutemwa, Nairobi based photographer. So, so guys, today uh, I'll be redoing this video of uh, how to crop photos for Instagram that's 4x5 or 8x10. So, you can see I just clicked edit in, um, in Photoshop, but uh, <coughs> sometimes when let's say when you crop this photo you can see like uh the head space is not enough but when you pull down with the, that small head uh, you pull down you'll see our photo is creating some black parts these black parts are just this background and just this background <coughs> color there so Let's say you, you crop your photo and uh, it brings this this kind of bars or let's say just let's just undo this control Z. So when I try to crop my photo like this, you can see it has these um, white blocks and I want the photo to have, to have like just a very, I just, uh, the composition to look good. So that's why I want the headshot to be a little bit bigger. So sometimes you end up finding you end up leaving your photo with these black parts, and um, you want it to fit on Instagram with no black parts or with no these there uh, with no these uh, black parts in this photo. Now this just uh, I do it like I have two steps of doing it. So when I crop my photo like this and uh, just pull down and now it. It remains with this. Let me just undo this. I want to make it the background. Sorry. This. I want this color to be white so that it can be very feasible. So let me just say crop by five, four by five or eight by ten. So let me. When I pull back, you can see these white parts. These white parts uh, will not be so attractive when you post this photo on Instagram. So I have two ways of doing this. Uh, one, yeah, I have like two ways of removing these white parts. One, I use the rectangular marquee tool here. So I just draw it like that towards the model, right? Then right click inside the box, then select free transform pre, free transform okay then right click again then select distort so what you're gonna do just pull this pull this this way right and then the other side you do the same select rectangular marquee tool then draw it make sure it shows the pink line on top and the pink line on bottom and in the center make sure it it is in between the model and the white part then um right click again free transform right click distort then just pull this way okay so you can see our photo is already fit but sometimes you find like the photo is very compressed maybe the space was little and the photo was co very very compressed and sometimes it leaves like uh, some stretches in the background uh it it leaves like it 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 look it leaves some stretches maybe your camera did have such a good depth so sometimes it leaves um some stretch like st like unattractive stretches in the background so let me show you what i do i'll just undo what i have done i'll have to undo the first process but the first process works perfectly but i'll show you i use the the removing object method in front so sometimes maybe you have your light appearing in the frame or you have like these trees in the background and then you have to remove them let's say you pick the patch tool and now make sure the foreground color is white and now you select this let's say you want to remove this pole electric pole in the background when you select it and just you uh, you click edit then fill um then you select content aware mod normal opacity 100 then you say okay this will replace with anything 
on that background that's why we call it content aware you can see it will be replaced by anything near to that, that pole so you can see now what if we do the same to these white parts like assuming this is just uh, assuming these are uh, just an object inside the photo so this is what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna highlight this like this and sometimes it doesn't work perfect so you have to be to make it look very perfect so what i'll do i just go to fill to edit fill then content aware so sometimes it backfires so that's why there are two methods of removing white parts or cropping to fit for instagram but mostly i use this because i i want it to i want to get used to it and uh, before i do perfect so you can see our photo looks very very nice we have removed that white part but you can see there are some stretches on top right here now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna highlight these stretches only the stretches right here just gonna highlight the stretch like right there then edit fill then content aware and just like that we have a very very well balanced photo right there so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the same to the other side of the photo or to the left side of the photo just just draw like that then edit fill then uh content aware you can see it's 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 working like and some sometimes you might find these three as push inside these ones so what i do i just remove all of them i clean my backgrounds like all the time so i have to like i want to cost to customize everything you can see this as a i want to create that fence here and this so I'll just draw this and uh like this there will be no stretches and they, they all have their advantages and but sometimes you like when you frame like you want to frame photo for cropping you might well let, let's say maybe you're using a 50 mm lens so you might find yourself taking a photo so far away from the model and the photo will not be so sharp and uh, sometimes we have to be just close to the model and get some good composition and just do the rest in post-production just like this and uh, you have your photo this photo will be because this is the 8 by 5 or oh, 4 by 5 or 8 by 10 is the size for Instagram so your photo will fit on instagram automatically just this how you do you are cropping and fitting photos for instagram so if you are a photographer out there please like this video share share to reach more people so that this my channel and my these videos will be recommended to as many people as possible so my goal this year before the year ends i just want to reach two thousand subscribers and uh uh i'm also planning of you bringing you guys all the behind the scenes on how i take these photos and how i make my photos look so natural and i am still using lighting so guys thank you so much please hope this method helps you out there to make your photos look very beautiful and fit on instagram thank you guys so much subscribe follow my instagram at mutemwa and uh see you in the next video sorry guys i i i have to balance between making videos and still shooting so 